Hello, my name is Hope Marceau, and I conducted research in my undergrad at the University of Louisiana at Lafayette, which is on this poster, and now I am pursuing my PsyD in clinical psychology. So I'm going to talk about how word use patterns provide potential insight into the mind of a mass murderer. A little background information, um, researchers have argued that one way to better understand and prevent mass murder is to analyze the final communications of mass murders, while other researchers have argued that simply analyzing the words people use can provide in important information about their psychological realities. So our case study seeks to bring together these domains by comparing the words found in one mass murderer's journal to those found in COCA, which is Corpus of Contemporary American English. We made two main predictions across three different quantitative analyses, one, that we would observe significant differences between the corpora, and two, that these differences would provide additional insight into the mass murderer's mental state. So the subject of our case study is actually John Russell Hauser. He shot 12 people, he killed two, and then he also shot himself at a movie theater in Lafayette, Louisiana in 2015. Um, in a previous analysis, we found evidence to suggest that he was consistent with Noel's interpretation of an adversarial homicide-suicide subtype, which would... Um, extinguish behaviors such as feeling wrong in some way, persecutory delusions, and having no escape planned. So we developed our own corpora. We focused on analyzing words within his journal to those within COCA. In analysis one, we specifically looked at keywords from wordsmith tools to compare corpora based on word frequency. And we found that Hauser used more words that were related to politics, such as truth, morality, majority, targets, mad, while COCA used more basic words that we use in our everyday English. Analysis two, we used MRC psycholinguistic database to compare corpora based on psycholinguistic factors of words. And we found that Hauser used more number of letters, number of syllables, imageability, concreteness, and meaningfulness, while he lacked in frequency. In analysis three, we looked at Luke, which is linguistic inquiry and word count to compare corpora based on psychologically relevant categories of words. And we found that COCA had more logic and more clout or authority, while Hauser had more um, authentic words. So like he had more realness and anything under 50% in tone is actually considered negative. So um, more sad, mad words, they both actually exhibited that. So if we look at the interpretation, um, these, le these lexical patterns suggest that this mass murder was experiencing reduced analytical thinking and low self-esteem while being honest in his opinions. So as compared to Coca, the words in Hauser's journal were more moral, emotional. So he used words like morality, um, truth, longer in terms of letters and syllables, less frequent in the language, less familiar, less analytic, less clout. So if Noel is correct in particular thoughts and behaviors can be used to identify different types of mass murders, and if our data can be used as preliminary evidence of differences in word use between people who commit mass murder and those who don't, then it might eventually be possible to use lexical analysis to identify individuals at risk of committing crimes. Thank you so much for being here today. And if you have any questions, please reach out.